uh, as always, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and start with a sealed. My first uh, event with the Streets of New Capenna here on Arena. I did play some pre-release events um, back at PAX. So I have a little bit of experience with the cards, but we're going to go ahead and start here with the Streets of New Capenna six-pack sealed. All right, so we have... Genie Fay, which allows you to get better tokens when you create a lot of tokens. We have Gala Greeters, which is a pretty solid two drop. It gets bigger. It gains you life. It gains you some uh, ramp and fixing, which is fantastic. We also have two pretty bomby black cards. So we have a lot of options here. This is a multicolor set. So I'm going to go ahead and just scroll straight back to the multicolor. Now, multicolor is not necessarily what determines what sets, what colors you want to be in, but they are oftentimes the most powerful, so they're good signpost cards to help you decide what you should be taking a look at. I was the most impressed with our black and our green, so that would be um, the... I'm trying to think of the official wedge name, so I think that's the Riveters? I don't really remember. But we have quite a lot of support here as well. I really love the cycle that allows you to fix any of your lands into colors of the set. Um, that's really, really helpful. The Clever Sound, thank you so much. Five months, really appreciate the support. Body Dropper was pretty cool. All right, let's take a look here at our this uh, angel was actually quite good as well. This uncommon. Wow, this card's so good. Haven't gotten to play with that yet. I've been impressed with Freelance Muscle, especially in Sealed. The Gallagher Readers. Eh, this life gain is pretty filler. Plus one, plus one, and Trample till end of turn. For a 4-4 four, four for four that doesn't even cost double green to play, this elegant entourage is quite powerful. Uh, as far as four drops go. Again, our black bombs were really good. I think the Sanguine Spy is really nice. If I remember correctly, I don't remember what the ability does, but I remember I think it rated like a four on our set review. Uh, Life Leak and Menace. Uh, you know, two, three for three mana. It's well above rate. You can pay one, sacrifice another creature. Look at the top card of your library. You may put that card into your graveyard. Uh, the beginning of your end step. If you have five or more mana values, you get, you may pay two life if you do draw a card. So you get some more stuff there. Um, yeah, seems reasonably powerful. Some good card advantage. It's also a menace and lifelink, you know, a well above rate. We also have a murder. Love to see that. Graveyard shift, suffering angel. But our black overall is quite thin. Let's take a look at the blue here. We have some lifelink flyers. I definitely like those. I liked the Echo Inspector as well. Tad bit thin. I'm really liking the black green. And blue is also one of our deeper colors, which is nice. Red is also kind of deep. We have uh, Exhibition Mascot, which I think is one of the better commons. Uh, witty Roasters, also I think one of the better commons. Okay, let's just go ahead and put this together and see what, what we're looking at here. Wow, oh my gosh, my green is so much better too. We have Double Jewel Thief, which I think is by far one of the best commons in the set. Paired only by like the White Flyer. Entourage I think is very good. We got some filler. Create a treasure token. I'm, I'm into it. We got some muscle freelancers. Enters the battlefield with shield counter. I was less excited about this. This pump spell was okay. All right, so there is that. Our white was quite deep. But our black was kind of balmy. But our green, black, duels... Deals seven damage to target creature or planeswalker. I saw someone top deck this to get out of like lethal six ways to Sunday. They were able to kill a creature plus the artifact that gave trample to another creature. It was insane. Oh, but again, this is a pretty situational card. But that does mean we get to play body dropper. 
if we play Jund here. It's a little bit of a shame, again, because I think our blue is quite deep. All right, so let's go ahead and put in some Woody Roasters, some two drops with Death Touch. Uh, the uh, Exhibition Magician, which is pretty good. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under control, can't block this turn. Eh, this card's fine. We have a little top end, which I don't think we need. I think our five drops in green are a little bit better. Hound was only so-so. And then we've got Murder. Sanguine Spy, a Suffering Angel. Ooh, it's kind of sad. Like, our black is just not very good. And the cards that we want to play are kind of like double black, the Suffering Angel, the Murder. Well, I feel like blue or black has like the highest quality of, t of, of cards, like rare and removal, but not quite getting us there in other areas. Hmm. Our two drop slot is fine. Three drop slot, fantastic. So we don't quite have a full deck yet, and I'm wondering if there's some world where we possibly um, decide to go for colors because we do have a lot of fixing. Don't like the three one with the graveyard ability. I do actually. So basically, what I kind of do when I'm when I'm looking at this build, as opposed to adding all of the stuff that's playable and then cutting. I like to add all of the things I know I really like and really want, see where the curve fits in, and then see what we're missing. So for example, when it comes to the three drop here that you're talking about, the Maestro's Initiate, this is a three drop in a slot where we already have a lot of three drops. And I think our three drops are quite powerful. I think Jewel Thief is one of the more com better uh, commons in this format. Uh, Magician helps you fix in a three color. Roasters gives you a little reach. Murder and obviously Sanguine Spy I think are very good. I would probably run it over this. This probably should not have been added for my example here. So now what I'm gonna do is now that I have all the cards I really like, we'll take a look at the curve and the creature count and spell count and see what we're missing. So let's take a look at the creature count and if it's a little low, 16 creatures is already quite high. Um, not to say we can't have more, but we might be looking for more removal or more something else. So rather than just like adding everything that's playable and cutting accordingly, I like to add the best cards and then look for the missing pieces. We have about four flex spots here because we have 36 out of 40 cards. And then I can kind of put in whatever pieces I want. Um, this is a little bit different when I do it in paper because what I'll do is I'll just sort out the like chaff um, and just remove that from like my field of vision and then go from there. So it's a little easier for me, but how about Cabaretti splashing black? So the only reason I don't like that is because our black, it, like the two black cards we really wanna play is double black, which makes it a lot harder for that to be your splash color. We can also play Genie without white, which is important. Because we do have a few things that make treasure tokens. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so Genie will be quite good here. We don't have very many multicolor cards. For each color, return up to one target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Okay, but that's actually fine. It gets like a black bomb and then two creatures. I think I'll play a rogues gallery. Plus citizen tokens. Um, so we don't have anything else really that makes citizen tokens. So I counted all token generators. Um, and for our deck, that is just treasures. We have the um, exhibition magician and I did count that and I can make a citizen or a treasure. So it doesn't really matter. It's only one of our, uh, two of our colors, but then we can cycle it away late game, which is nice. It's kind of just a dual land that allows us to do more stuff. Same thing goes here for these, uh, these tapped lands. We have, uh, Plains Island Swamp, Plains Island Forest, so those don't work actually. 
Would you add the triumph just for gruel cycling? Yeah, that's exactly what I was going for. Uh, you you uh, beat me to the punch on that as I was scrolling through. Good eye. Our curve is reasonably low, but we're still interested in just keeping it as is. And because we have cycling lands, um, I kind of consider this a cycling land. It's just you can cycle it later, which is nice. Um, yeah, we're, we're fine here. We're definitely going to do ready to rumble. We need some extra removal. And I am kind of interested in, like, either a big score. Probably just a light em up. It's not a good, you know, this is like the world's shittiest shock, but whatever. That's the world we're living in. You know, Gold Hound, it's kind of an interesting card. It's a little harder to cast in a three-color deck. You have tapped lands. I'm kind of on the fence about it. I rated it kind of low in my set review, and during the pre-release, I had someone play it on the play, curving out, and it still wasn't super fantastic, and that felt a little awkward. They ended up getting like two chip damage in, and then it just did nothing. They sacked it for pretty bad, bad value later, um, just to cast something that, again, wasn't very detrimental, so I haven't been super impressed with Gold Hound. I think if I leaned a lot more into red, I would if we had more of just like a two-color aggressive deck, but that's not the case here. We also don't have any synergies for the artifacts, really. We're not our, uh, treasure heavy. We don't have any of the payoffs for extra treasures. So I feel like the upside of the Gold Hound is not quite there. I think this is the deck. Someone's asking about Arc Splitter. Do you like Arc Splitter? I was a little hesitant to rate it particularly well, and I'm kind of on the fence about it still. I think it's a fine card if you have a ton of excess mana. If your games go long in a three color, I feel like I would probably side in an arc splitter, but I don't know that I like it enough to just play it outright. Body dropper seems to not be getting any um, value in the deck. Yeah, so that's kind of the interesting thing about um, sealed is that not everything has to have a ton of value uh, being able to just sack something in response pump giving something menace with a token is quite powerful i think overall it's a well-rounded two drop with some good upside never didn't have it Sorry guys, I'm still uh, kind of um, not feeling the best, so I still am having a little bit like, I lost my voice. So my voice is still a bit raspy and I'm still a little bit, you know, eh. I do apologize. Huh. That is instant speed, deal seven damage, excess damage, destroy target artifact or enchantment, which I don't think we need yet. I don't know if I just want to pump this and get a 1-1. One, one. It does just put something else into my graveyard, which is pretty nifty. It makes a 1-1 one, one I do like. I was hoping to just play the freelance muscle here, but eh. We can also just rogues gallery for bad value. I definitely do not want to use... I'm just gonna hold open the Unleash the Inferno. Wow, holy shit. Okay, we got there, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, well, it still kills the creature, but now, you know, that was a solid two for one still. Um, they prevent us from getting the ascendancy, but they traded us a pump spell. 
So that is a, you know, a very solid uh, exchange, I think. And they also chose not to attack. Fantastic. We have massive card advantage, massive life advantage. I mean, Riveter's Ascendancy is annoying, but it's not that annoying. Great, we even get to save our token here. There are a lot of board clears in the format, so we are interested in just kind of chilling at this point, I think. There's the exile a creature, so they can board clear for three. There's a three board clear. Um, and there's like two others that are any amount, but I don't think they're in these colors. I think they're mostly in white. I have a sweet Jurassic Park Band-Aid because I'm awesome. I'm not blocking. We have plenty of life. I'm not going to risk my better creatures. Okay. We got the first win. So normally the streamer event is like my first time getting any experience with the cards. But I actually did get to play two events at PAX. I got to play a 2HG and a Trios Sealed, which was really fun. Trios Sealed sounds complicated. It's not. So we opened three starter decks or three starter uh, sealed packs. And then we got to mix our um, card pools and build three separate decks. You play one person, best of three. And if your team wins two out of the three best of threes, then you win. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and mull here. This is kind of a lot of do nothing, and I'm super not interested in doing nothing for that long. And we'll go ahead and toss one of our two drops. You were at PAX? Aw, oh, I was there on Saturday. Would have loved to have gotten one of my Nerd Girl Vampire tokens I had signed. Uh, so I actually wasn't there on Saturday. I was only there Thursday, Friday. Um, but if you want to get one signed, you can always... Um, hopefully they don't remove this. Kind of really want the treasure token. Um, if you want to get one signed, you can put it into an envelope, into my, to send it to my P.O. box, and in the envelope, put another envelope that's stamped and pre-self-addressed, so I can just pop it into there and send it back to you. You're welcome to do that. So it's the cost of two envelope things, you know? Are we in Nuka Penna already? Uh, the streamers are. We get early access for uh, one day, which is really cool. No, 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 no. No, come on. I really needed that. I guess I save this. I hate this. I hate this so much. But next time we can cast both of these. Aw, you were about to play Exodia. It's true, I really was. Rude. I 
I hear Hammy doing zoomies downstairs. Uh, for anybody who hasn't bought their paper um, Streets of New Capenna product yet, if you guys are looking to do that, please consider checking out Cool Stuff. Uh, cool Stuff is the sponsor of the channel and helps me create content. And uh, I didn't stream a little bit last month. So um, yeah, if you guys would give them a chance to earn your business, it would be really, really helpful to me and my content. Because again, I didn't stream, so they were like, nobody used your code last month. And I was like, oh no. Um, yeah, they're pretty um, low key about that most of the time. But uh, yeah, I did take like a whole month off. So make sure you guys give them a chance to earn your business. Don't obviously, I don't get direct sales kickbacks, so no pressure. But uh, if they do happen to be good for you. Boo, man, the fish token is so freaking cute. It drives me crazy. Uh-oh. Huh. wondering i don't actually know that we can win this one two three four one more land and they can cast this which would kill me so fast i would trade this riveter's initiate for the horde hauler and i'm hoping with the soloist and the free muscle this could actually kill them If we can create any tokens, this would be nuts. We still actually have access to this, right? We just gotta find it. I'm happy to take this one time. Casualty 2. Okay, that's fine. This doesn't trample. Okay. This leaves us with no black mana this turn, but I think that's okay. Taxi gets plus X plus X to X is the greatest power and toughness among other creatures you control. So it just gets plus three plus three, so it eats most things. I will probably remove Shakedown Heavy from attacking next turn. Okay, this works. Death touch, trade there. I'm okay with this. My biggest fear is that they'll be able to attack with both. Um, because when you remove this from combat, it does untap it, which is pretty rough. The other thing is that if the hauler is untapped, the soloist doesn't actually get to do any of the abilities. I really need a token generator something 
Ouch. That hurts. All right. Oh no, I used, oh no, I used my other black spell. Holy shit. I was like, oh, I just need to draw cards. I don't need two black mana. I was wrong. This has menace and this has trample. Wow. Oops. In fairness, we wouldn't have drawn this this turn if we hadn't have sacked it. So it wouldn't have mattered. We would have just drawn a blank here. We're pretty dead. Hey, we found something. The funny thing is, is we can't even really afford to make this in, into a creature. We kind of just need the treasure. And our opponent has been sitting forever. Haste Vigilance. I will decline. I will make the treasure. Because we are going to need to kill this flyer. Oh, this is fine. Yeah, I will happily make another double creature body next turn. So here's the land. Yep, here's this. And we're going to murder that because we can't afford to not murder it. They actually could have killed us that turn if they had in response uh, activated the thing. Vigilance dog, heck yes. They could have in response crude, right? And we would have just been dead. Thank you so much for the sub. Two months of support. Uh-oh. That's not good. Huh. Boo! They played a lot of rares. We did play Genie, but like, she didn't do much. We don't really have a ton of synergy with her, so. That's okay. We still have plenty of time. We're all right. We got this. Yeah, it's a little slow, but we have all of our colors, which I'm a big fan of. The format is a little slower, especially in sealed. this one first. We would like to cycle this one if we get flooded. Hello. Air Bubbles Cosplay. It's nice to see all the different content creators that we're playing against. All right, that does nothing, but we do have Entourage, which is cool. Into possibly Freelance Freelance. That's a lot of muscle. We do need one more land. This is almost all of our five drops. So if we don't draw land, we'll likely draw something playable. You got it, social climber. You got death touch. All right. Okay, that bricks most of their stuff with the exception of this Death Toucher because, you know, I'm going to uh, die to that. Plus 
playing for value. I also like slower limited formats where value is important. Huh. That is real freaking bad, is what that is. Holy shit. Uh-oh. Oh no, GG. Two drop, three drop, Ascendancy Broker. I'm dead. If I could have killed this in response, like, we maybe we still have a chance, but no dice. Wow, no plays. They're just going to make shit bigger. Okay. We're in trouble. This attacks real big, which is nice. Use the token of the pumper for casualty. You uh, Use the token. of the pumper. I feel like I might be missing something. I probably should have just attacked with this, to be honest. So you, you wanted me to use the pumper, the token of the pumper, or casualty to double shock some- to shock this? Seems kind of bad. Plus one, plus one, and trample. I don't think we can race this, but like, I kind of want to try. Five, six, that's, ten, that's so much damage. I feel like we have to trade here. Oh, this says or blocks. Holy shit, I thought that was just attacks. I need to work on my mind reading ability. I, I, sometimes I just misread stuff because I'm bad. I think with this double muscle freelancer, we can actually race them reasonably well. I think they fucked up. I think they also didn't know what my card did because neither did I. I honestly thought it was just during attacks. Great. Because this is going to give the other one trample, and they're going to get huge. Insanely huge. Three, four, five. Okay, so now we have a choice. We can actually light them up to kill this. But then I don't, I don't, then I don't have the ability to play anything. I guess I can play this. Okay, I kind of like that. We don't want them having any more creatures than they already have. They could use a pump spell here, but that'd be the last card they have. If this kills them, we actually are going to do a fuck ton of damage. Holy shit. Okay. That thing's big. You got it. Are we dead next turn? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We are dead. Well, we have a, we have a, we have a, a one one that we're about to make, right? So this is gonna get one, two, three. So this goes on to here. Play this. We make a creature. We give this plus one plus one and trample. Then we attack with both. Force them to have to block. We attack with a twelve twelve, which is pretty fucking massive, and it's trampling. I almost just played the Wrecking Crew to, like, force them to not be able to do that much, but... Six, 
six, seven, eight. I think they just die if they're not careful next turn. Because again, this gets plus one, plus one, and trample, and then attacks for nine. Oh, not now. So this can't target itself to give trample, so I couldn't have done trample on both ends. Uh, that would have been better mid-combat. Are you talking about the pump spell? I don't think so, because if I pumped this pre-combat, it means that the trigger on the freelance gets bigger, right? So the Freelancer wouldn't have been a 12-12 because we would have gotten uh, a smaller trigger here on the attack. We're killing the 7-7 instead of the Flyer because we're not in a ton of damage da danger anymore. We want to make it a lot less likely that they can double block the next Freelance Muscle. And with this Broker's Ascendancy, it's pretty scary. We wanna play two creatures or just like one big one. I think it's one big one, five. They can double block again. So if we play two small ones, the double block is no good, right? Cause it would get eight, nine, 10 triggers. Yeah, I, we're going to double creature here and force them to chump. Rhino seems decent. Yeah, he's he's really impressed me. He impressed me before I knew uh, that he uh, <clears throat> did uh, blocking as well. <clears throat> Wrecking Crew totally makes muscle plus five plus five. Wrecking Crew is only a four powered creature, which is the same as the elegant entourage. So it should be roughly the same, right? Plus X plus X where X is the greatest power and or toughness among creatures. So I think it would give it plus four plus five or something. It says power and toughness among creatures. So I'm, I'm not really sure. It goes off toughness. It's, so it's either or. It says power and or toughness among creatures. So I thought it was both. <clears throat> either or highest. Interesting. Well, I definitely have to chump this. I cannot believe we beat the, uh, the Ascendancy here, which was pretty spicy. <clears throat> this trample is just going to kill him. That's awesome. Big trample damage. XX, so same boost to both, yeah. So it's either or whatever is better, the toughness or. I thought it was the same toughness and the same um, power. But we, re we, achie we achieved the same result uh, by doing two bodies, right? So it wasn't better. 
um, anyway, because we got plus, we got two triggers from the 4-4, four four, triggering our creature to still get plus five, plus five, and it put two bodies on the full, on the board for a wider swing, should they have any, like, uh, token generation or anything like that. I think that was fine. Plus, with a Broker's Ascendancy on the board, I'm always happy to have some Death Touchers. In all honesty, I think I probably would have made the same play anyway. There was one situation where a lot of people were very confused, and I read it and I, I got it right. And it read correctly to me, but then when people told me where the disconnect was, I could see it, but it didn't still, like, it still seemed right to me, so I don't know. Gallagritas are OP. Yeah, they are very good. And also, I think they're very, very good when we have a genie. Oh, such a good draw. Such a good draw. Please don't kill this. I'm gonna put a plus one plus one on this. We're already gonna ramp up. If they use removal on the galley greeters here, I think that's okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. Holy crap, you have 200 viewers. Uh, for magic, my average concurrent is about 300. Uh, is my, like, average concurrent C uh, CCV? For magic. Oh my gosh, let's go. So this is a bad night, ha ha ha. No, it's um, just an early night, right? I've only been streaming for about one hour. So average concurrent viewers is from the start of the stream to the end of the stream, average the viewer count together. So when you start your stream, you have roughly zero viewers. When you end your stream, you have roughly 400 or whatever the case may be. Average that together, then you have an average uh, concurrent viewership or a CCV. That's what streamers and sponsors and things like that matter. Uh, what they look at when they're uh, talking to content creators. That's a big boy. Welcome Raiders, John Likes Games. Thank you guys so much. Uh, guys, can we get a streamer shout out for John Likes Games? One of our DGen streamers, absolute sweetheart. Are we friends on Insta? I, I don't think so, man. I, I don't really, I don't know. I don't really do friends on Insta. But of course you start with zero. Why does it matter that early? So uh, average concurrent viewership as to why a sponsor would look at that is because they wanna know at any given point in your stream uh, what they're likely to get for, for your viewership. Um, also average concurrent viewership directly does math into um, your overall um, Minutes watched, for example, you can multiply the average viewers by the minute stream to get the exact number of minutes watched, which is really relevant. Also, some streamers just build quicker than others, so that does matter. Huh. 
Uh, for example, my channel, I think, as a whole, does have a slow and steady build. Um, whereas some people, like, you know, Day9 or something, people... He's got so many followers that when he logs on, it just goes spike straight to the top. Where I'm like, okay, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, so, you know, he'll just log on and he'll have 1,500 viewers, no problem. No questions asked. Hannibal, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Thank you so much. Okay, this is fine. They're going to put some counters on another creature, not a problem. Vigilance, that's fine, no blocks. All right. Um, pretty sure we're just like murdering this, calling it a day. It just makes their blocks insanely shitty. Ooh, maybe I should have done this. There's a board clear coming. Uh-oh. I shouldn't have played this. No, 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 no. Don't punish me. I wasn't thinking about it. I was looking at this idiot who just got timed out in my channel. No, don't board... No. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I was like, don't punish me, please, please. This has menace, so I'm just going to pre-combat cast it because I'm lazy. Good game. You were thinking about it just as you did. You're the same one that came up with the um, cycle gruel land at the, like basically the same time, right? You and I have a very similar line of thought um, as, it, as it would seem, so. I was just like on autopilot, like looking at this idiot. <laughs> Jewel Thief, beautiful card. Definitely in the top three commons in the set, not close. I love this card so much. Yanks! What's up? We got some adventure spins in a minute. Thank you so much, Yanks. Oh, cancel, wrong one. Got Tron and never didn't have it. Thank you, thank you. I've been timed out. I've never been timed out before. What did I say? Is this Facebook? Lame. I think they timed you out because you're really annoying, I think, is the general consensus. Um, you're just like generally unpleasant. I could be wrong. I don't know. I let my mods do what they want because they're great. I could have attacked for one. This was phased out. I'm 
happy to get rid of the shield counter here. I think they thought it had flying, but it doesn't. <clears throat> so we missed the boat here. So I'm going to play the reach creature and we're going to make treasures with the gala jeweler um, because we just need treasures because we missed our land drop, which is still fine. Not really interested in trading for the cat rogue here. Sneaky Reach, come on, Wrecking Crew. Sneaky Reach, one time, let me get him. Let me get him. Sneaky Reach, Sneaky Reach. Come on, it doesn't look like it flies. Just, just, no, stop hovering. No, don't look at it, fuck. Oh, they have a fish token. I'm really, <laughs> I'm a little scared of this angel of suffering now, but, uh, you know, it's fine. We can also start gaining life should anything get too far out of hand. So I'm gonna put a plus one, plus one counter here. Shit. It's okay though, we have gallery, right? We can get both those cards back. And feel quite good about it. Oh no, no, we can't, because they're, they're the same color. Huh. The fish's name is Gus, probably. Definitely a treasure token. This is sorcery speed. This is a lot of damage. I shouldn't have used the black. I should have held open the murder, I think. Whenever... Oh, this is the one that gives a thing. That's right. I just get Gallagreeters back. I think not. I think I want to hold open for the murder for the time being. This also has a shield. I'm kind of okay. Interesting. Okay. You got it. Attack me with a shield. So I can at least get this back. It's fine. Oh, I could trade. Okay, I guess I can't trade. So I'll just jump here. This is a lot of damage. They are a crap ton of life. So I suppose that makes sense. Oof, this is getting worse and worse. Oh, hello. Okay, that's something. So we can still kill this. I'm guessing we want to kill the thing that automatically has lifelink. I guess let's see if they block. A lot of damage. We can also just Angel. 
and they could start milling us. We have a lot of cards. I actually think that's fine. They have no cards in hand. I'm down to the, I'm down to do this. Next turn we'll kill a thing. I, if I yeah, this is fine. Uh, they'll probably put another plus one plus one counter onto like the sky, whatever, and then we'll kill that. Next turn. It prevents them from attacking with most of their stuff. Oh, here's another thing. Shit. Shit, stop getting life. You're annoying. All right. So they're going to mill me for a ton. We definitely need to blow this up sooner rather than later. I think, should we just kill the fish? Ooh, wait, let's, let's attack with this and see what happens. I am going to, they have so stinking much flying. I'm going to kill this. Oh, shit. I could kill this. Oh, that would have been, I should have done that last turn. Well, that's pretty spicy, actually. care that much about the one one I should have well hmm I'm thinking I will trade with the angel of suffering now I'm hoping they only attack with the one attack with like one or two flyers and then this can do the thing hopefully we draw a murder we also have the rogues gallery put it on the flyer you got it I'm definitely trading this angel of suffering away oh fuck they alpha'd me So what do we hate the most? I'm guessing we hate this the most. Are we just gonna mill out here? It's pretty close. If they don't have a creature, maybe I should have just taken it. We might just kill them. cards left <clears throat> I have five cards left yikes so we can rogues gallery and get a lot of stuff back we can get gala death touch Wait a minute. That didn't work out like I thought it would. Do we die next turn? You have to submit zero for blue. Oh, does it do one? It does it cycle through every single color. That's strange. So white, zero, black, red, and I want the Gala Greeters. I want to gain life next turn. That was weird. I thought it was only going to give me access to the ones I currently had. Okay. We might just die here. I'm not, I'm not actually sure. Whatever we do, we need to kill him in like two turns.
Oh no, they gave something else flying. A lot of damage. Okay, so you're going under a bus and you're gonna kill... I guess the thing that gets lifelink. We could eat this, so that way they couldn't do anything about it, but... If we draw a black source, do we win? No, it's still not. If we draw a black source and we can kill their creature, we could possibly win. No, no, no dice though, here. They chump, they're gonna take six, seven, eight damage. We can gain some life. I think we go Gala into the Spy. <clears throat> We're going to gain two life, putting us to seven. We're going to attack here. They chump that, which gives us... If they have a removal spell for the Wrecking Crew, we're dead. Fine. Can't be blocked. You got it. Put a plus one, plus one counter. You got it. This is scary. We get to gain four life next turn, though. Right? Between the spy attacking, which we will, and the Gala Greeters. Plus two life. Body dropper. Cat, how you doing, hun? Welcome, welcome. I love that this has menace. It means they, we just get in for nine. We still get a trade here. And it puts us pretty far out of range. Like, we have to attack with this, otherwise the fighting ring kills us with the unblockable. I was okay with attacking with the Wrecking Crew there. Um, if we... I think we die if we attack with the Wrecking Crew. It's very possible. I mean, if we're getting... If we're gaining the lifelink, that's great, but... Have you played Angel of Suffering in the game yet? I have, that's why I have two cards left. So we have we have one turn to kill them here. Uh, two turns to kill them, if we, if we need to also not die here. <clears throat> Bounced? No, we got it back from the graveyard. We're running black, so graveyard recursion's pretty uncommon. We just blew our, drew our second black source. The first one we used was with treasures. This was a well-fought game. This was a good one.
How you doing, Alley Cat? Welcome back. <laughs> that uh, that combat step where we lost all of our deck with the angel on in play was pretty scary. GG, two life and one card. That's more than enough of both. <laughs> Thankfully, uh, for those of you guys who are just joining, welcome. I am actually not feeling super great. I kind of am losing my voice, so you'll have to forgive me. I'm a little raspy. Uh, Astrals, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much for the sub. 14 months of support. Thank you. What do I have to do to possibly get a signed token? Um, so if you get a token either from Cool Stuff or by winning it, uh, then I can sign it for you. If you get one from Cool Stuff, you can send it to my PO box with a uh, by including a pre return pre stamped and addressed envelope in the return envelope to you know make sure I don't have to do a lot of work. Um, then I'll sign it that way too. Or if you win one from the channel, which I do giveaways normally, and we have them on the wheel as well. And this curve just gets get better and better. I've been drinking the Rogue Hydrate, actually, which it, it really actually does kind of feel good on my throat. Rude. Really? You're going to strangle that? Okay. That is more than fine. It has a cool pet. Yeah, this is a pretty neat pet. How do you get a wheel spin? Um, so the adventure spins are a bonus when people support the channel. So it's any uh, donation, gifted sub, or bits of $25. So five subs or $25 donation or bits. Um, and then you spin the wheel and it unlocks a bunch of cool stuff. Do cool stuff ship to Canada? They do. I'll block here. It's a little sad for the freelancer, but I think that's okay. Uh, yeah, so they do ship to uh, Canada, but not anywhere else in the US. So check them out, use the discount code. There might be like extra shipping charges, so I'm not sure how worth it it is, but um, you know, you could always check it out and see what they charge. I know they usually do free shipping with orders like over a hundred, I think. And that probably makes it really well, uh, really good. Wow, me and my opponent have like the same freaking deck. I haven't gotten this combo out yet. Sad. I think I do just need to kill this though before they go crazy with it unfortunate but we can't let this continue well, let's just do this I guess makes more sense forget how much my shipping was but they shipped to Canada for me nice Matt the hazard If you guys use the Nerd Girl um, discount code, MNG5, they will send you the Nerd Girl Vampire token for free. And then, um, like I was saying earlier, you guys do have the ability to um, send that to me and include a pre-addressed return envelope. And then I will go ahead and um, send that back to you guys. More than happy to do that.
We have like the same deck. I'm gonna blow theirs up so that way my my guy gets better. Mac, welcome to the channel. Hi, nerd girl. How goes the early access? We are four and one right now, so it's going well enough. Have you played with the 2 1 flyer for three that draws a single life? Not yet. Uh, but I do think it's one of the best commons in the set. Vargas, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Thank you. Um, so they go ahead and attack me for eight here. I'm probably just going to take it. We could trade, but I don't really want to. I think then our board state is is uh, worse than theirs. So we get to kill the treasure for free. It's not great, but it's fine. Get out of here, treasure. No one likes you. All right, so our board state is a lot better than theirs. We'll see if it gets there. Poor treasure. I know. Considering they can make another one every turn, I'm not, like, very excited about it, but it's fine. I was not expecting just a straight up chump here. One, two, three, four, five. We don't really need to play the Gala Greeters. I'm going to, but like we could produce anything we want, but I might want to attack with it next turn. We'll see. Wow, that's a great top deck. Oh, I'm so jealous. A card is very good. A card has impressed me. plus one plus one on it we're not really in a ton of danger right now happy to trade for both of these should they be willing to do so oh four five six seven eight yeah we still don't even have enough for some reason i thought they had nine but they don't and they've already shown a uh, willingness to chump pretty aggressively, so great. They need an answer for the Angel of Suffering if they want to try to race in any capacity. We've got good blocks. We're doing very well.
Uh, Dgen, for those of you guys who are interested in playing the new standard, Dgen is hosting a um, supporter tournament on Sunday. If you guys would like to come in and battle a lot of our creators, on the first on Sunday for $5, you guys could uh, come in and uh, get some battles with us, which is super fun. We've got a lot of DGENs playing in it. Uh, if you guys are DGEN patrons, you get free entry. So it's similar to just a supporter event. And then if you guys decide to uh, buy in, it's basically like being a Patreon supporter for the month. All of the funds go towards helping um, pay for the staff that run our events. Um, who are mostly just volunteers. I'm going to hold on to this in case there's a board clear. So we definitely go like this. We kill the creature. We crack the shield. I think that's fine. Certainly not great. But we have a very good attacker or, or blocker with this. Put a plus one plus one counter on it. So we have another thing that can attack through that. Let me get you guys the link to the tournament if you guys are interested in playing in it. There is a link to the tournament. There's currently 12 people entered and it pays top eight. So um, you guys get gift cards to Ultra Pro and cool stuff, which are some pretty nice bonuses if you ask me. Uh, there's also gems, and you guys can win door prizes just by hanging out. They have those as well. We have two more lands that can cycle. That thing is a problem. So that thing just becomes huge right now. Oh no. Uh oh. Hey, we found it. We take that. I forgot to make a treasure, but that's okay. They got a brick, but they're going to get a redraw from it. Oh, no, not another one. Come on. We have really good blocks. Light them up. Probably worth killing this. Considering that idiot is a 10 10. Casualty 2. Sack this. Boop it a boop.
Oh, hello. Doesn't give trample, so it's not great. But can we just kill them? If they top decked a removal spell, we're not gonna win. Like if we, they just go to take it in response, remove our creature. If it's like destroy target attacking creature, we just die. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play chicken. We're, we're doing well, right? Like we're, we're not in trouble here. Ouch. I don't know if we should go for it. What's the worst? The worst is that I cast it for lethal, they blow it up, and in response we lose. <laughs> Because then they kill us on the crackback. But I'm into it anyway. But this is mostly trading, so that's kind of fine. Okay, so if you guys notice that once they hit the block option there, not... Like nothing happened, right? So four, five, six, seven, eight. So 16. And we also have a chumper on the way back. So I guess that's fine. What's killing this? X4. Okay, so we'll gain some life. Thanks. <clears throat> we were definitely going to gain life. Well, we weren't, actually. If they kill the creature in response, we die. They curved out really well, and they had the token generator uh, right away that ate up all of our removal. That's, you know, a tougher game than I would have liked, but this is a solid hand. Two drop, three drop, beautiful three drop. We just need land. We're playing against Happy Toe Claws. Oz player. I feel like people use their strangles a little too liberally, but I feel like strangle is kind of premium removal and it's just all my two drops are just eating them, which is fine with me. This again? Shit. We can make another black treasure with the magician expert. So I think that the trample here is pretty good. Okay, you have too many good cards. Uh oh. Whenever it attacks, you make a token. Okay, that's not that bad. And I didn't hit a land. I was really hoping I would so we could Magician make a 1-1 one, one, and then blow something up. But that did not happen. So. We're gonna go here. Free combat. We're gonna make a treasure. And we'll attack for 4. I 
could, hmm, could use this and the treasure, but then I don't have any black mana. I think I'm just fine with just outpacing them. And they're going to have a hard time attacking with this freely unless they have some lockdown spells and we have good double blocks unless they have a big pump spell. Then we've got some good stuff too. Yeah, this is still fine. It looks like the, the genie like doesn't have that much going for it. All right, so they're gonna get to make a token with the genie, which is fine. Gain a little life, no problem. <laughs> what could they do for one red mana? Another strangle? Is there, what is the green pump spell in this format? Do I still have that open? What is the green pump spell? I think it's like a phase. I don't exactly know what it is. It's nothing. Great. Fantastic. I don't know that I want to use my last black mana. But also just doing this is fine. This is risky. I am certainly willing to trade the Entourage for any of the current things on the board. There's a green pump for plus two plus two or plus four plus four if you control four creatures or more uh, for one mana. It's plus four, plus four. It still would have saved their creature. I played around a plus two, plus two, but... Hey, we got there. I think this is probably just worth killing. Especially because we have this. Never didn't have it. Ta-da! We did it! GG's, Tappy Toe Claws. She's an absolute sweetheart. If you guys are into cosplayers, you should definitely check her out. All right, 6-1. Can we do it? Can our first arena event be seven wins? I think you can. Feel it in my jellies. Oh man, we're playing against the Judge Academy? What? Judge Academy, that's awesome. Yeah, I hope not, Summer. I hope not. Hello. Eh. I am itching to play another playthrough as well, so you guys will likely see me playing some Final Fantasy here very soon. That's unfortunate. I was thinking about trading with it if they didn't pre-combat that, but no such luck. I was going to trade with this. I'm going to make 
a treasure token. I'm pretty happy to just play the freelance here next turn. All right, you got it. Freelance it is. Art is quite good. Ouch. Mr. Metronome, welcome. Thank you guys so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome, guys. How's everybody doing today? Thank you so much. I do appreciate that. You guys are awesome. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know Mr. Metronome, make sure you guys click that link. Go show some love. Some wonderful content creators over there. Highly recommend. Hmm. This makes my creature a little bit bigger. It gives us a treasure. They could deal four damage to it. Hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. We're going to go plus one, plus one. And then it'll get another trigger and they could trade again if they want uh, with like the witty roasters, which I think is fine. Thank you guys so very, very much for the raid. We are currently in our first event. We are currently six and one and we're playing against the Judge Academy, which is super exciting. No attacks. They're stuck on mana, but so am I. We're both stuck at four. Oh, they found a tapped land. Can't block this turn. So I'm kind of interested in going like this. I'm willing to trade that. Especially because we need a red creature in the graveyard to get back with the rogues gallery. Okay, that's a lot of damage. We're happy with that. Right. Solid. Hey, Lord, welcome. Thank you so much for popping in. How are you guys? Can we get a streamer shout out for Lord, please? Make sure you guys go show some love. Wonderful content creators over there. 
I haven't forgotten. I, I have been insanely busy. I'm so sorry. But uh, I, I haven't forgotten that we're going to try to do some co op type stuff here in the semi-near future. I don't know if I should just attack with that or maybe just play a thing, do some chip damage, make this not block, and attack with like. This. Either get both of these or just that, which I'm okay with. Plus it's vigilance. Tempted to also attack with these, but eh. I think this is better. <laughs> I know we're all super busy with the new set. Yeah, definitely. Once I get my articles done, um, my cool stuff articles and then the like online set review stuff just takes so much time leading up to the new set. It's crazy. Let me see if I can reset Cardboard Live. There might be an update, or maybe the update hasn't gone through yet. One of those two things. Oh, that card's great. Deals combat damage to a player. fine. I don't think we're going to be attacking anytime soon. I think we actually need to kill this. Which we thankfully can do. Hey, Toner, thank you so much. I really appreciate the uh, 17 months of support. Thank you, thank you. You just finished the Eldrain set review? Yeah, they, they, they can be a lot. Holy shit, that's a large creature. Huh. Okay, well, that's scary. Submit zero, submit zero, submit zero, red. I want the freelance muscle, but I think we need the treasure token to be able to play the murder sooner rather than later. They might attack here with the 7-6 just because it's like the one time my Riveter's Initiate are down, but... Oh wow! Huge raid from Ollie Eldrazi! Hey guys! Welcome! Thank you so much! Lots and lots of raids today. I appreciate the support. Uh, we are currently... There's a stick here, and I don't like it. You can't save everything, right? This looks fine. 
There's probably some plus everything spell I'm forgetting. <clears throat> it is the Streets of New Capenna set. Yes, we are six and one right now. Ooh, they are going to kill this. Hopefully it's not plus one, plus one to everything. Oh, it is. That's the one. That's the one. We just get blown out across the board. <clears throat> That's the one. I was fairly sure it was at least an uncommon, so. Wow. You, wow. So you're using this pump spell just to kill my magician? That does not seem worth it, but sure. Oh, this trampled too? Dang, I forgot that this gives plus one, plus one and trample. Damn it. Okay. We are dead now. They have too much life. It took us too long to hit that second black source. What are your favorite cards from Streets of New Capenna? So I'm mostly, for those of you guys who are raiding, I'm mostly a limited player. So, um, you know, my favorite cards are the great commons and uncommons. That's the first time I've gotten beat by like overrun minus. That was interesting. Freelance uh, muscle is pretty good. I like Freelance Muscle a lot. But seriously, guys, this is awesome. Um, you know, there's so many of you guys in here now, and I really do appreciate it. Mm, well, this is... If we hit any green or black, then we're okay. If we hit red land, we're okay. I'm gonna keep it, just because the Gala Greeters is one of our better cards and it fixes for everything else. And most of our deck is green, so all we need to do is hit green, black spells, or red land, which is, you know, all of those things combined is 90% of our deck. <laughs> there we go, we found it. If as long as, hopefully they don't kill it, but if they do, that's okay. We can still get it back, you know, still get the land we need with the treasures. No blocks. So we'll go here. Get to make a treasure. I'm wondering if I should just make this a 2-2 two -two so we have reasonable blocks. I think I'm going to make two treasure tokens. So I definitely want to light them up next turn. And I'm worried that if they answer the jeweled greeters, you know, uh, or gala greeters, we won't be able to get enough stuff. How do you guys pronounce it? I pronounced it a gala. I'm not sure. All right, what does this do now? Create a token that's a copy of another creature you control against haste. Wow, that seems insane. We could blow this up. Oh no, when they copy this, they're just going to get shield tokens? Oh no. Oh, 
this blocks forever. I'm going to do this now. I mean, we could light this up. Hey, Basemdi, thank you so much for the 47 months of support. Thank you, thank you. You guys are awesome. Very, very much appreciated. We got a first time prime sub. Thank you. UV catastrophe. Thank you. We got some Bezos. I'm hoping they shield the jacks instead, and I'm hoping we could just block forever. They're down to one card. Why is there two stacks of this on the... Huh? Confused. Oh, they did decide to put it there. Interesting. Huh. Okay. So I guess we should probably just light up the jacks. So we'll go here. We'll create a tapped treasure token. Maybe they were planning on blocking. Let's go here. This is a lot of damage. Okay, so the shield token comes off. And it just light it up, I guess. The Jax is scary, but how scary? It's I don't think it's all that scary. Oh, actually. Okay, so, so I've changed my mind. I think I'm going to blow both of these up. I'm not a huge fan of light them up either. Um, I'm going to blow both of them up. We're going to, we're going to do this. We're going to target this one first. Right? And then this one, so that way they can't put the counter onto this. I think it goes here first. We auto A. We're gonna sack this. And we're gonna target this one next. And they could put a thing on here, but now they don't have great targets for the jacks. Which feels fine. And then now they won't continue to get free shield counters to um, prevent us from bashing them in the face with the freelance muscle. Hey, we got another first time prime sub. Thank you. Wizard. I'm so glad you're enjoying the content. Time to play angel. Yeah. Next turn. Definitely. I wanted to stop them getting a free shield counter every turn. Cause that does seem pretty dang scary. They're going to have to remove the freelance. And once they do, Angel should be able to come over for quite a hefty beating. 
We got some gifted subs from Ninjari. Thank you. We'll, we will uh, do an adventure spin in just a little bit. Thank you for the support. How was Ollie's stream? I was able to come in and hang out for a little bit earlier, but I missed some of it. I took a nap before my event. We'll play Angel. They need to answer it. It gives us another creature. Um. Tempted to start doing plus one, plus one counters. We'll make one more treasure just to be safe. We still don't have any red mana. And three of our red sources could cycle away. And I think I'd rather cycle. Uh, Riveter, Riveteers, or whatever is the name. Oh, we are on a little hype train. Thank you. Thank you for the support, guys. Yeah, if they find an answer for the Angel of Suffering, that's cool. We get to do the thing. Um, you know, this Jack's getting free shields, free connives. That's pretty neat. Uh, but the token, you know, that they make connives, the plus one, plus one doesn't stay. But they do get to pitch their land and filter and fix, which is nice certainly no small thing. Yeah, so I, I have a little bit of a sore throat and I just am not feeling super well. Um, so I decided to try to um, get ahead of it by getting some sleep. Um, you know, I think I feel like if when I sleep extra, when I feel like I'm coming down with something, then it tends to like cut it off, if that makes sense. Bert. <laughs> oh my gosh, Bert. Bert, thank you so much. That is awesome. Thank you for the support. $24.99. We have a donation to the channel. Can we get some Corgi Butts for the big hype? You guys are awesome. Oh no, they're going to get to double block. I didn't know this thing had flash. If they choose to pitch a real spell, they could double block the Gallagreeters. But then that would be okay. They did not. Great. No punish. We do have two black creatures out. I think I'm happy to just save the rogues gallery. They kind of need to answer the angel or die, and I'm kind of okay with that. What the hell does this do? For another battle, enter, exile the top card of each player's library with a counter on it. Once per turn, you may cast the spell. Okay. So they get... A whore, okay. Soloist and a horde hauler. You got it. Hey, treasure generation. Woo. I'm okay with this.
I'll put a plus one, plus one counter. Next turn, we can actually start attacking through some stuff, which is pretty cool. Oh no, this is gonna kill us. I didn't even think about that. Oh no. Oh man, they're gonna get so much card draw. Oh no. So much card draw. They have to discard cards. And it's one from each deck, so it's not like super viable that they... Oh shit, they got rid of the main one. Okay, well that's nice. And they got, oh, they got four lands off the top. That was nice of them. Get the land out of our hand for us. Appreciate that. And then this will trigger and they'll get nothing. That feels pretty good. I think they were desperate and digging for removal probably. Uh, Shiki, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I really do appreciate the support. Casualty off a free token. Oh, look at, look at my beautiful, beautiful preview card. Plus one, plus one. Next turn, that'll do some good damage. We can make a treasure token at the end of turn now. We'll be good to go there. I am planning on doing later tonight, not not now. I am planning on doing a um, bounty that is a city builder. If, for those of you guys who are interested in city builder games, um, and if you guys stick around for the one hour bounty, I'll do a gem giveaway to help you guys get some more um, gems to purchase your Streets of New Capenna cards. So. Hey, we got there! Seven wins on our first event. Sounds great.